Tala Fakoto, my name is Indigo and I'm a Tuvaluan scientist born here in Tamaki Makoto and I'm young, gifted and brown. Yeah, don't come around here. If you don't know how it's funny around here, then man think they're the one around here. Till we make your whole crew run around here. I have a bachelor's degree in biological sciences. I'm a postgraduate diploma in biosecurity conservation, and then a master's degree in microbiology with first class honors. Yeah, now we full living, built the ting, and we're chilling, still the kings. That's why we stay grinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God willing, gotta see it. My first ever love in university was soil. So like, yeah, once I, once I, once I found out that like one teaspoon of soil has over a billion microbes in it, that like blew my mind. I really started to realize like a lot of what I was doing in my life and a lot of what we do as humans was affecting our soil and then that really was affecting the plants and then the air that we breathe and climate change, like all of that in some way like links back to soil and so that's kind of where my journey started. My thesis was centered around Cody dieback, so Cody are um, an, a culturally iconic um, and ecologically iconic tree here in Aotearoa, and they're currently being affected by Cody dieback, which is um, a soil-borne plant pathogen, and um, there's currently no cure and 100% mortality rate. Um, and so my thesis basically explored how that disease is affecting um, the soil microorganisms and how we can um, use those changes in the soil microbial communities to um, detect the presence of the pathogen. So it's very important to clean your shoes. Please clean your shoes. I think we need more um, Pacific Island people in these spaces. Our cultural values and our traditional knowledge systems um, really need to be at the forefront of the work that we're doing in the Pacific in order for our work to be meaningful and sustainable. The most rewarding part of my job is being able to see in real time the positive effects of the work that we do. That's really rewarding, being able to make science more accessible to marginalised communities in the Pacific. When I told my Pacific Island family that I wanted to study science, uh, their response was definitely, what am I going to do with that degree and where is that going to take me? So I definitely had to prove uh, that I was going to get a good job when I finished. Not coming from a family with an academic background was such a strength because it reminded me that there was more to myself and more to my life than just academia and science. So outside of work, you'll probably find me listening to music somewhere. I love local artists like Spider Town Baby, Naneko, Lady Six. Um, I'm really into art, so I love tattoos, uh, going to the art gallery, things like that. So my youngest self always knew that I'd be serving and helping my community in some way, but I didn't imagine that um, I would be able to uh, be in the position that I'm in now. I didn't think that a job like this really existed. I would tell my younger self to be yourself. Stop conforming to what you think science wants you to be. Stop conforming to what you think the institution wants from you. Your culture and your values are your strong point and always lead with that.